how did you develop your brand and why do you stay so consistent? So first and foremost, I had to determine who is my audience. And my audience starts at fifth grade education. And the reason for that is we have a lot of house cleaners that are coming in from other parts of the world and English is not their first language. And so everything that we do has to base a fifth grade education. We have seven different filters that we run everything through that brings everything to fifth grade education. And I'm counting on the fact that there are a lot of people, even if they're trying to understand English, it's going to be tough. And so for me, a big part of my brand was let's use pictures to illustrate what we're talking about. You can have these beautiful, classy, muted pictures, or you can have bright, happy colors that are like right in your face. So I'm really trying to get your attention. I really want you to understand this concept. So I choose bright, flashy, happy colors. I also wear a turquoise shirt every single day. And that is part of my brand. The branding was for a couple of reasons. This is a uniform I've been wearing for 25 years as a professional house cleaner. It's my go-to outfit. It removes that decision fatigue. Decision fatigue is a very real thing. If you get up every single day and you're reinventing your day and your life every single day, how exhausting is that? By the time you get to the serious stuff for business, you're gone. You already spent all your decisions for the day. <laughs> and so for me, everything in my life is a system. From the time I get up in the morning, my workout, the clothes that I wear, the shower that I take, the way I brush my teeth, I take my vitamins in the morning, I pack my husband's lunch. There's a series of things that happens every single day. And the good news is this, when you're feeling bad or you're having a bad day or your biorhythms are out of whack or whatever, if you follow the systems, you still end up with the same results. And so even though there are days I woke up and I'm like, I'll just roll over and pull the covers back over my head. I don't feel like doing YouTube today. Well, the reality is uh, you're going to do YouTube anyway because it's a system. And that's the process because once you follow the system, you end up with the same results, which then leads to referrals and recommendations and consistency and long-term customers and all those things. 